Okay, my friends, read what this says right here. According to a 1995 interview on a space documentary sightings, former NASA astronaut Story Musgrave stated he observed what appeared to be snakes floating in space during two of his missions, a claim he did not officially report to NASA upon his return because they would have kicked him out of the plant. Now, I have found that virtually everything that we're being told is just not true. And there's no compulsion, compunction to, to be true. They just they don't care about being true. So I'm thinking this is true. Okay, so what did he say? He said, Musgrave described seeing objects resembling snakes seemingly floating freely in the space during multiple space missions. No official report. He did not officially report it to NASA. Well, I can understand that documentary appearance. He made this claim during an interview in the documentary sightings. He was being honest, because by that time he was probably not an astronaut. Potential explanation, oh, he was just hallucinating or <laughs> some speculate Musgrave saw could be explained by natural phenomena like ice crystals. That's the thing, <laughs> reflecting light in zero gravity environment. That's what they said John Glenn saw. He saw fireflies. He saw actual particles in space being lit up when he was on the dark side of the earth coming around to the light. In the light, he could see them all flickering on and off because they're light. They're particles. They're dust. The, the, the universe is saturated with dust and light particles and all kinds of debris. Light comes through it, it flicks it on and off. That's what the cosmic microwave background is, is that glowing little hum in the universe where all the light that's passing through all the debris tickles it on and off, and it slows down. So the Webb web telescope is, is a very nice telescope, but it is not going to tell us where we are in the universe because it judges 100%. 100% of its calculations are on the fact that space doesn't slow down and space is a complete vacuum, which is complete nonsense. And you would say, oh, Roger, they would have to be gigantic to be floating around in space. Well, yes, they were. And where would they come from in space? Well, maybe here. Like I said, I trust absolute zero from our leaders in the NASA, Fermilab, Yale. I trust absolutely nothing from them. What is this? What the hell is going on there? This is our moon. What are we looking at? Nobody knows. Nobody's talked about this. Nobody will discuss this. Because to me, it looks like we may have had visitors from out here, this pyramid going over to what looks like it might have been Atlantis in space. That look, I'm thinking, well, yikes. What is all this? Why is this on top of the moon? Anything that glows is energetic. What is going on? Could there be space snakes? Well, I can tell you one thing. There's snakes in space. Uh, I don't want to be nasty. <laughs> I don't want to be nasty. I don't want to say what I was going to say. But looking down from space, they can't see anything. So, I, I, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they're just not telling the truth. It's just not truthful anymore. Nothing's truthful. Okay, 100% of the cultures on Earth talked about giant monsters and dragons and snakes. And here's Quetzalcoatl all the way on the East Coast. He runs up the whole entire East Coast. That's his head. Here's his hairdress, headdress. There's his little beards. He's spitting some nasty stuff out into the Gulf of America. <laughs> and here's his body goes all the way up the East Coast. <laughs> he spits out all his feces in Washington, D.C. That's where he poops. Here's his feathers up here, which is the Green Mountains. You think we're being told the truth by NASA? I mean, I know they're up there floating around in their little space thing, and I know they went to Mars, and they, I know they want billions more money, and I've shown them over and over and over. It's just, it's just, Mars is saturated with the same life that's not here. Giants, and I'm sure there was dragons, and it's all the same stuff. Mars has muscle sarcomeres. It's undeniable. The Mars-Mars code is, is interstitium skin. The Mars blueberries are the same as the Moki marbles. Those are the little anchors in the skin that hold the skin in. The Mars crab is a gigantic uh, artery. 
that feeds blood vessels. I mean, um, muscle. There's no question about it. Absolutely zero. So if you believe them, that that oh they, he was just a kidding around about the snakes. No, I believe he was being true, and he's the only true one there is. And the same thing with when John Glenn went up there. They could see all kinds of. He was. He says, "Well, there's fireflies. They're everywhere. There's, they're everywhere. There's, there's, there's everywhere." And so oh, there must be something urine that after you pissed out it, it, it they flushed it out the back. Well, he could see it ahead of him. <laughs> It, this, it, you're not going to get truth. You're not going to get truth. So you better be smart enough to look through the, f the veil, my friends, because there is a veil on everything that you're looking at right now. All right, this is a uh, story of Musgrave still alive. Now, he said in 95, Musgrave appeared in a documentary, quoted saying, on two of his missions, I still don't have an answer. I, s I have seen a snake out there, six, seven, eight feet long, it is rubbery because it has internal waves in it, and it follows you for a rather long period of time. Now, I, I'm going to show you where I think he, they may have been from. He's saying these things. He's still alive. I'd like to, you know, he has no answers. Maybe these are the answers. You see, I don't trust NASA or anybody anymore. I don't trust anybody at all. None. Zero. They want to go back up to Mars. They went on Mars, absolutely no question. And here's what Mars is. They came back in 2015 with uh, the Mars crab shot. Hold on, where is it? Here it is right here. And they were looking at this and they said, what is this? I said, well, there's nothing. Forget about it. Just forget about it. It's all parodiolia. I said, well, what is it? Oh, no, 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 don't look at that. I said, well, what's this? This is muscle sarcomeres, and that's a vein and an artery, a vein with the artery servicing the sarcomeres. D does anybody up at NASA have any biology? No, no, it's just all parodiolia. Forget about it. These are the sarcomeres. You want to see what muscle looks like? This is what muscle looks like. Remember that? This is what muscle looks like right here. These are the sarcomeres, and they feed the muscle. There they are again. Same, same sarcomeres we just saw right here. You want to see some more up on Mars? It'll blow your mind right out of your head. Look at this. This is up on Mars. Continually over millions and millions of years, layer after layer after layer. They're insane, these people. This is muscle. This is the eroded stuff from muscle. And don't tell me they didn't go to Mars. This is all on... Greenland or some ridiculous thing like that. That's what makes them them laugh at us, because we have the evidence, and then you get some morons that start talking about. This is so frustrating. I just it pisses me off every day. Here they are spending billions and billions of our dollars. They went up to this asteroid, which has tubes coming out of it because it's a heart. And they went down in there and they grabbed a bunch of heart muscle sarcomeres and came back to Earth with them. And here they are right here. Here's some more sarcomeres from space, from that heart. They found this layer, which is the membrane, then the sarcomeres, then another membrane, more sarcomeres. And, oh, we can figure this out. We've another 30, 40 years, another $100 billion. Maybe we get somewhere. I told them over a year ago what you got here is heart muscle. Well, look at this. This is what a heart is without the top plumbing, and that plumbing falls right off. Here's, this is Penu. This is Psyche, another heart. That one got too close to the sun or something, it roasted up a little bit, and it's got metals on the surface. Because hearts are loaded with blood, and blood is primarily metal. And that's where they went. They went in deep into the here and they grabbed a chunk of muscle came back with it and now I saw Bill Nelson from NASA on here we need another all kinds of billions of dollars to go back and retrieve the capsules that they went up and picked up they're still up there on Mars absolutely insane and and all oh, we can do it for less than I think it was six billion dollars or something well, what's the matter with this what's the matter with that why won't they even talk about this I've tried over and over and over to contact them. not a single word back you can't get them to talk because they're they're up against the wall, they know they're they're frauds and all. Everything they're doing now is fraudulent. There's no way in the world you can you can deny what you see here. None, zero. You, it, it, well, let's say let's put it this way: you can deny it all you want, but let's talk about the evidence. No, 
It's all pareidolia. You're just a crazy person talking about stuff. No, I say it's PhDolia, where you can't see what's right in front of your face. This got hit by Venus. That's wider than the United States. Boom, when, when Venus smashed into it. It just missed us, which called the Great Flood, caused the Great Flood, and killed all the giants and probably all the dragons and everything else. This is here on Earth. That's not just a, these are a big geologists. You get millions of hits on stuff. Oh, that's just flat irons. Those don't mean anything. What I'm really interested in is this. I said, well, that's the guy, that's the dragon's last meal, my friend. Very, very hard to, to deal with reality anymore. So I'm, I'm very frustrated every day, and I cannot seem to break this, this veil of silence. And, 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 and it will destroy your life if you talk about it. Now, my life's gone already, so I don't care. But anybody that's coming up, they can't talk. And if you do, it's just like this story Musgrave. I, I saw snakes in space. I, I'm not going to tell them until I get out. And then maybe I'll talk about it. And he did. It's time to start talking up. We're in a world that we don't even know where we are. We are so lost. It's just unbelievable. I, for 15 years, I have just been amazed at the weakness of the human mind and the weakness of the human spirit. It's not, it's, uh, it's, it's terrible. Other than that, I love you all. <laughs> See you later.